Hi there. He is risen. Greeting from Restoration Church. It's Easter Sunday, the most significant day in world history. Easter Sunday, the day Christ rose bodily from the grave. Hallelujah. That is awesome because Christ is risen. As it is, the coronation of Christ on Palm Sunday led to Good Friday's crucifixion. And Good Friday's death and burial of Christ has led to this Easter Sunday resurrection. The most powerful of any event the world's ever seen or known. Easter is both about life now and for eternity. And right now as I speak, more and more people are slowly regaining their lives from the devastation wrought by the uh, coronavirus disease. And that's what Easter is all about. Regaining your life from the disease of sin. Beloved, Easter did happen. And it's here today because it was both predicted in the Old Testament and in the Gospels by Jesus himself. On Good Friday, my topic was Don't Waste Your Death. Today, my topic is Don't Waste Your Life. That is the life of life and the gift of life offered by Easter. First, the facts already been established that Jesus Christ was a historical figure and not a legend or an invention. As well, his resurrection is based in facts that, that can be reckoned and reconciled. For example, the empty tomb, the transformation of the apostles, Christ's ascension, and ultimately the preaching of the whole gospel starting straight from Jerusalem by the disciples. So without a doubt, the resurrection is the cornerstone of our Christian faith. But you know, while there are many such extraordinary claims emanating from other belief systems, when you carefully evaluate these other religions, none of them provide any true or even compelling evidence. In other words, they provide no hope and certainly no hope of an eternal, peaceful home in heaven. As you listen to me now, you are listening to the good news of Christ, which gives life. Embrace it. It is Easter. Embrace it because we know that for a certainty, the apostles and the earliest followers of Jesus believed and wrote that Jesus came back to life bodily after he was dead. They saw him. They touched him. They heard him. He ate with them and they never saw him uh, ascend bodily into the clouds and into heaven. They saw him with their own eyes. The historicity of Jesus' resurrection is undeniable. Live the resurrected life. It is available to you. It is free. But maybe you are one of those doubting Thomases who say they will believe in life after death if they ever met someone who died but came back to tell about it. Well, this is exactly what Jesus did when he died and then came back to life after spending three days and three nights in the borrowed tomb. This is the Easter message, and it is the glorious and awesome good news that has been broadcast around the four corners of the world for over 2,000 years. The fact that the resurrection is so very much more than a mere biblical or historical event for believers to celebrate it once a year. We can't celebrate Easter once a year. Matter of fact, it's an event that we got to live and celebrate every moment of our earthly existence. Simply because we're a product of the resurrection. The resurrection is the crown of our entire life and our whole faith. The resurrection is it. Period. Look at how the Apostle Paul put it in that powerful resurrection passage that is found in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 17. He said, If Jesus is not raised from the dead, our preaching is in vain, and we are the most pitiable of all men. Isn't that something? You know, way back in the Old Testament, in Job chapter 14, verse 14, the question was asked. If a man dies, shall he live again? 
though these questions introduced man's mind from ancient times to our day, the answer's already been provided. It's been provided for you and for me. After raising his dear friend Lazarus from the dead, Jesus made this wonderful profound statement in John 11, 25 that has changed all the world. He said, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me, though he may die, he shall live. The resurrection is our great hope, your hope, my hope. See, Easter, the resurrection provided who and proved who Jesus claimed to be. He proved to be the Son of God sent from heaven to save us from our sins. But know something else? It also proves for all time that there is life after death. It's Easter Sunday. The resurrection has totally and without question blasted away the finality of death. Death is not final. Life continues after death. But first, what have you been doing with your life? What do you plan to do with your life from here on? Your decision today determines your destination after death. What's your choice? Don't waste your life. Let me say it again. Don't waste your life. Instead, spend your life in service to God. And may God bless you this Easter. Happy Easter. Amen.